Okay, this may be one of the shortest lessons in this particular class, the lesson on comments in C-sharp, but it may be one of the most important lessons, and that's one of the reasons I moved it up uh, early in the class. So let's go ahead and get started. So what exactly are comment statements? Comment statements are included to help document your code. They're very important for the maintenance of computer software. Most programming projects include a team of people, and including good documentation inside your code really helps other programmers go in and figure out what exactly your code is doing and if there are any problems encountered in the code. It's a good place to store unusual code that's needed for a solution to work, perhaps a patch that's put in, or even document some kind of problem area that a particular program is, has had. It's also a good place to put notes for fixes that can be recorded in comments. Uh, documentation, things that go wrong, uh, recording uh, patches that go out for particular releases. Usually program headers are included in comments that record the ownership of the code, the company that wrote the code, maybe even a copyright notice, and the things of that nature as well. The comment syntax in C Sharp is very simple, and there are three different types of comments you can have within C Sharp. The first example is a comment that started with a double slash. This is called a single line comment in C Sharp. The next example is the, the comment starts with a slash followed by a star and then the, is also ended by a matching star and slash. This is a multi-line comment and you can also see the same kind of comment in C programs as well. The last comment is really a Microsoft or C Sharp specific kind of comment. It's an XML comment. If with three slashes and you enter that in, it will enter a special XML comment, and those comments can be extracted by an automatic routine in Visual Studio and help automate some of your program documentation. So with that in mind, let's go do a quick demonstration inside Visual Studio, and you can see exactly what these comments look like. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll start up Visual Studio, and we'll look exactly what the syntax of these comments look like within uh, the code. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up our hello world solution that we created in the in the last lesson. So we'll, again we'll open the project and I'll look for the directory for the hello world solution and I'll go ahead and open it up. It'll take just a second for that to open up and after the the solution opens up I'll open up the program.cs file and we'll look at our C sharp source code. So here we can see the code and the first thing I'll do is I'll demonstrate the syntax of a single line comment. So I'll just go ahead and type this in. Here's an example of a single line comment. And you can tell the syntax is pretty simple, but it's useful for putting in notations like I talked about earlier for different situations. The next example is I'm going to go ahead and type in the example of what a multi-line comment looks like. And again, this syntax has been around since the days of uh, C programming and is a pretty well-known uh, standard for writing comments in, in C and uh, C-sharp programs. So uh, just have to remember end it uh, the same way it's, it's uh, uh, began there. So that's the, the example of that. And then the last example, I'll go ahead and put something in the header file. Notice if I hit the three slashes, it will generate a stub for an XML comment. And I'm going to go ahead and put a comment in here. And again, uh, this is something that you can use to generate documentation later on. So this is really a great place to put summary documentation for um, methods and main methods and, and uh, program header information inside the XML comment. So I'll go ahead and save this. And that's really it. That's the syntax of the three major comments that you can do in C Sharp. Okay, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is going to be a very short lesson, but a very important one. Uh, comments are extremely useful. I can't emphasize enough uh, that they're a required part of programming and particularly if you work for a commercial company, they're going to be required by your employer. And they're extremely useful for other people on your team and also yourself. When you write a piece of code and you go back into it a year or two later, it's really nice to have some breadcrumbs that let you know what that code did uh, when you were working on it. It's uh, sometimes uh, difficult to remember these things after a while. 
Uh, most commercial software companies have coding standards that include uh, when and where to put comments, and they will enforce them with code reviews as well. So it's go ahead, uh, you know, if you're getting started, go ahead and get used to the, the fact that you should document your code, not only for yourself, but also as a practice for uh, um, good programming practices for later on. So that's really it for this lesson. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.